Hey guys, um, today we're I'm going to show you how to um, lay out lighting symbols for box booms and side lights uh, in Vectorworks Spotlight for your for your light plots. Um, in the last episode, I showed you how to lay out lighting units on the front of house pipe, and I believe in the next in the next video I'm going to show you how to lay out uh, on stage electrics. But as I said today, at, in this video, I'm going to show you how to lay out uh, lighting units on the box booms and side lights. Now, laying out units on the side lights, box booms, are not nearly as user friendly as um, doing it from the front of house because we, we using we 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 are not going to really be doing as much photometrics with the beam. Remember, we we would be able to click on click on a light and uh, draw a beam well we won't be able to do that with with with, with side light and and um, and box booms just because vectorworks isn't at the place where it can do that quite yet but as I said it still it still beats it still beats hand drafting so we have that so let's let's start with this stage left box boom okay um, let, let's start with these guys um we'll start with uh area a and we're gonna we're gonna have have a light a fixture here from from here going over to area a and it almost looks like it's potentially the same this almost the same distance uh from from here to here is like, like this okay this distance it's a little bit more so i would probably i would possibly say that um, we we would use maybe 26 degrees to to you to light these three areas from the stage left box boom. Uh, and again, you know we're we're sort of taking an educated guess because if it if these worked here, the the same lights at 26 degrees will work from the box boom over. I would say to these three units right here. Okay, and then these guys here. Areas D and E, we're going to need a little. We're going to need a little bigger light. So I would say maybe a 36 degree for area D and a 50 degree for area E. Because again, remember, as you get closer, you you have to have a bigger a bigger lighting unit to make to have with a bigger beam spread, sort of. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to start laying these again, laying these guys in. Just like we did on the front of house, and this this already is a uh, I, I selected it here. This already is a lighting position object. Okay, so we don't have to worry there. I, I did some dimensions. I'm going to take those out, and again, let's start with um, let's start with area with area A, and again, what we want to do is anytime we're shooting lights across the stage, we want to have those on the top. Of, of whatever the position is because if we would do it the other way around and have area A hung lower down it'd be shooting across but then when area E was right there and they'd be a fixture would be up on top here they would have to shoot down and tip down so so at a, such a steep angle that they would be running right into the the fixtures beneath them so we start with the farthest shot the farthest throw distance at the top of the, the the box boom so I'm gonna come over here uh, make active our 26 degree come back over instrument insertion tool just like just like um, just like the front of house and I'm gonna start I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna click up click once and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna we're gonna make them all look sort of sort of like this okay they're, you know, and and again, it's not exactly. This is where you have to have to have a little sense about you. It's not necessarily pointing at the stage right now, but it's going to point at the stage. So we have our first we have our first lighting unit in, and again, we have to come up and put in our label legend. So you go to Spotlight, Label Legend, Assign Legend to Instruments, and again, we're going to use the General Instrument, and there it pops it in there. Okay, and we're going to have this go to area A so we can type in purpose. 
We don't have to do focus because we're not we're not using the beam focus. So we're going to type in A for focus or for purpose. And as you can see, I'll click off here. And A is is the area. Um, okay, now and now it gets now it gets pretty easy. Now what I'm gonna I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in here just a little bit and. We're going to copy. We're going to drag and drag and copy the rest of the fixtures for the other areas. So area B will start up on the top here. I'm going to put him there, and we're going to change him to B. All right. I'm going to put drag this guy down, and we're going to call him C. And I'm going to drag this guy down, and this is going to be. D and I'm going to drag him down again and this is going to be E. Now if you remember what I said we don't we want to have areas D and E be different fixtures like area D the fixture is going to be a I thought we said 36 degree so what we have to do again is come over here 36 degree make active and we come up to the object info palette, scroll down, and replace with active symbol, and it changes that to a 36 degree. Yes, thank you. I would like to back up, and we're going to come down to um, instrument E, and we said we wanted to make that a 50 degree, and we are going to um, we are going to change that. So we'll replace with active symbol. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't make 50 degree the active symbol, so we'll try that again. There we go. And let's see, what are we making? I have to look at my notes and see what we're making these these lights here. Um, let's say we're going to make this uh, Roscoe 57. All of these lights are going to be colored with Roscoe 57. So we'll select them all quickly and scroll up to... to color... And I'll type in Rosco 57, enter, and there they are. So here is our um, here's our here's our box boom. Uh, now, what I want to do is I, we need to get these instruments over here. And again, we could we could redraw the entire we we could re redraw the entire box boom, but we're going to use the power the power vector works to, to help us out. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select everything, and again, we're just going to mirror them over. And now, will the uh, will the instruments hit this exactly? Probably not, but I'm going to show you a trick. We just want to get them over there, and it's going to save us some time. So okay, so here here we go. Uh, we're gonna we have these selected. We're going to mirror. Come over here. It's thinking, it's thinking, okay, so they're not exactly on, we'll zoom in here, they're not exactly on on here, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag these guys, and drag them down and set them, uh, we'll, we'll get them around just a little bit more here. Okay, now there it looks like they're sitting on, I'm sorry, stage right box boom, Let's come over just to confirm that. Let's come over to the object info palette. And sure enough, Vectorworks is smart enough to know that when we drop the fixtures and they're touching this, that they're automatically assigned to the stage right box boom. That's pretty cool. I like that. The last thing we have to do is we need to notice now, every again, all the, all the lighting areas are backwards. So we have to kind of flip-flop this around a little bit. Now A is the closest, so we're going to bring, we're going to come down here and we're going to re-area, we're going to reassign this to area A. I'm going to assign this guy to B. The middle area never changes, so C. And we come down here and we have D. And we come over here and we have area E. So, uh, let's see, these guys still look like they're a little bit a little bit off here. I'm just going to 
shift up arrow and get these guys to ooch up just a little bit. Okay, so there we go. Now we have we have both of our both of our box booms populated with lighting instruments. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do how to lay in the box booms, and we'll start with we'll start over here on stage left again. Um, we'll, we're going to start with boom number four. Now on side booms, generally speaking, when you lay them in, you do not. You do not assign areas to them because they're just side light. Well, they're shooting exactly across the stage, so they're not they're, they're not really hitting not really hitting an area. So we want in boom four here all of these lights. These are all going to come shooting straight straight across, straight across. So we're not going. That's the one different thing is we're not going to um, assign we're not going to assign a focus area to them, but we will assign colors. So again, we're just going to kind of kind of get in here, and now again we have to decide. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six spots to hang lights. Now you don't have to hang fixtures on 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 all of these, but I'm I'm going to choose to hang fixtures on all of them. And generally speaking, what I like to use for side lights is some of the middle middle range units, like 26 and 36 degrees. And I think in this case, it's a little smaller theater, a little smaller proscenium. So I'm going to use a 36 degree for this. Again, the bigger the bigger you, the bigger the theater is, the wider the proscenium proscenium is, the uh, smaller the beam angle you're going to you're going to need. So for this, I'm going to use a 36 degree. So I'm going to right click on it, make active, come over here to instrument insertion tool. Good. And again, we're just going to kind of click on here, and now we can. I'm going to. I'm going to start this guy, and we're going to go vertical. And here again, our our first lighting unit is is dropped in. I'm going to come up to spotlight, assign legend to instruments, general, and there we go. And now what I can do is I can just all the way up, Control Shift, drag. I can drag them all, all up. And I'm going, I'm choosing to have two different colors for my, for my side lights. And I want them to alternate, so I'm going to start on the top and I'm going to select him, the, this guy, and this guy. And I'm gonna, I think I'm going to put in there, I'm going to use green, so I'm going to use Roscoe 80 for my green. Roscoe 80. And then for the other side light, I'm going to, it's a deep, a deep amber. I like Roscoe 321. I'm going to use that. So I come over here, color, Roscoe 321, enter. And now we have our, now we have our side lights dropped in. Uh, now the last thing I'm going to show you how to do again is to copy copy these. We're going to copy these guys up to boom three because usually the the booms mirror themselves on each side of the stage. So I'm going to I'm going to select all of these guys right here. Okay, I'm going to select these guys. Select um, select select select. And just want to check here to make sure. Come over to the object info palette. Yes, they are all on boom four. Very cool. It kind of notices that automatically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to again select everything and now I'm going to drag them up. But I'm going to hold down the control key because remember that copies things. And I'm just going to drop it right here just to start and see what happens. Okay, it looks like they're a little high, so drag it down just a bit, and there they are. And look at that. They come over and they are automatically assigned to boom three. Very cool. And we're going to keep our colors the same because they're on the same side of the stage. So that side of the stage uh, is done. Now what I will do for these guys is for, now we need to get the lights over to the other side of the stage. So I'm going to do the same thing. Is I'm just going to select one of the lights, or one, one boom. We're going to mirror. We're going to mirror it on the center point. 
and we're probably gonna have to dust it a little bit okay it's it's working it's working and you see now it gets it gets pretty close so we're gonna come over here move them into place and looks like we'll have to adjust this so it isn't hanging off the the border of the page we can fix that later now these guys what we want to do is we want to put some different colors in so I'm going to select the Roscoe 321s and we're going to use oh let's say we're going to use Roscoe 17 which is closer to a red color Roscoe 17 now you notice here that it automatically said it was going it, it automatically reconnected to boom one and now we're going to change these guys here and we're going to make this um, we're going to make this Roscoe 65 a light a light blue sort of so we're going to change that Roscoe 65 and there it is so now again we want to copy these guys up so we're going to select everything control drag up here and again we need to sort of get them moved down just a little bit and there we go and there's our boom 2 you notice that they they've uh, attached themselves to boom 2 Oh, you don't want that. Nice one, Pat. Um, okay, so what we need to do, I'll fix that later. What we need to do here is we just take a look at it, and we have all of our side lights in. Now we have our, our box boom lights drawn in, and we have our side lights th uh, drawn in. So it's just kind of a long video, a lot to kind of pay attention to. I would recommend... Um, watching this a couple times this this was it's not an easy concept to to lay in side lights and box booms just because again we don't have the access to the photometrics information it's more um, using a little bit of your 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 lighting design skill to, to make these decisions so it, it is a little bit more of a challenge so uh, what I want you to do now is either watch the video again or kind of play around on your plot and work on putting in side light and box booms if you're using that if if you're using those in your plot